The next speaker really doesn't need much of an introduction uh, internally to the Williston community. Um, but uh, for those who don't know Harrison Winrow, class of 2018, who was elected by his classmates to give uh, a talk this morning, um, he's a thespian, he's a scholar, he's a writer, he's a wrestler, and he's a tree climber. And uh, I'd like to ask Harrison Winrow, please, to come forward and deliver his speech. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. I heard a disturbing sound. I smelled a disturbing scent. I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> Uh, a halo of light bulbs crowning me in the backstage dressing room, sweating profusely on the closing night of my final theater performance on the Williston stage. I was on top of mountain high, buried deep in the valley low. I was floating down the river wide on an inner tube that I purchased at the dollar store just down the road. <laughs> It was severely discounted. Yes. Sentimentality serves one well on days like that, on days like this. So, I tooted my frugal bugle, and I applied my stage makeup layer upon layer upon layer. I sat in a puddle of my own butt sweat as many of you are now. <laughs> and I closed my eyes, and I retracted all limbs into my core, and I rolled like the very first wheel back in time to my very first day here at Williston. Well, it wasn't the first day. I think it was a collage day, compiled of the sweetest moments I have experienced here. So many teeth grinning. So many hands firmly grasped, gently shaking. The lion was painted silver then, and the grass was a richer green, full of promise. We entered the green gates of the Williston Northampton School, an open hand, palm raised to the sky. And with the days and months and years, the collage of days and months and years curled and closed each finger. With the laboratory precision of pressurizing coal. And now, class of 2018, we are a fist. And with this fist, we have the phenomenal ability to cause destruction. Woo! <laughs> or construction, <laughs> creation, or with that first step you take beyond these bricks, you can pry those fingers up, crack that fist open, and reveal the precious stone that was produced under the immense pressure in the palm of your hand. Find the diamond, the pearl, the diploma, you are soon to receive, that is your diamond. That is the culmination of every hour you spent reading, every attentive nod you so graciously granted your tireless teachers teaching away. <laughs> every test and quiz and opportunity, <laughs> every massage you gave your hand because holy shit, the pencil is a tenacious opponent. <laughs> that pearl, that diamond, those diplomas, 
are the magnified artifacts that shine now because they once could not shine. And so there I was, sitting in front of the mirror, my halo of light bulbs, puddle of butt sweat, you remember, closing night, hearts on sleeves. Over mountain high, valley low and river wide, some Sherpa inside my rib cage took me back to then another collage of days and teeth and hands. I heard that disturbing sound. I smelled that disturbing scent. You see, this is not my first time saying goodbye to the Williston Northampton School. About two years ago now, uh, I was committed to a general admission psychiatric ward in a nearby hospital. This was a terrifying collage of days, but also the most beautiful opportunity for the Williston community to bear that beating heart of theirs and rescue me. A few weeks ago, I told the senior class that they will never have to be alone, that we will always be the graduating class of 2018, that we can honor this permanence with a neck tattoo, purpose, passion, integrity. <laughs> An idea not well received, though presented in good faith. I say again today that we are never alone. Once you step inside this green fencing, you become part of something far greater than yourself, far deeper and more cultured and alive. When I was in that hospital, and subsequent hospitals, I was never alone. Phone calls, emails, visits. Not a day went by without being touched by the Williston family. My parents came to see me. Uh, Nurse Autumn, Peter Gunn, and Sarah Sawyer always bearing gifts beyond just their company. <laughs> Books for me to read, <laughs> updates from campus, always with food in hand, really delicious food, <laughs> because hospitals are not known for their eloquent dining facilities. <sighs> their smiles saved me. And uh, there was one visitor whose presence, I think, defined the character of this school. On a particularly dreary day, Kathy Noble, Dean of Students, stopped by and sat with me, and spoke with me, suffered in that insufferable place with me. Now I'd like to see that written in her job description. She wasn't out hunting you down, wasn't frantically gesturing for you to tuck in your goddamn shirt. She was there. So many people were there with me. I don't think that at a lot of other schools like this that would have been the case because there aren't a lot of other schools like this. And there aren't a lot of graduating classes like this. The hearts, the teeth grinning, the hands shaking, the mutual respect. I really am honored and grateful and feel so loved that I can stand before you, all of you, and say a few words. <clears throat> Two, three. Cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. <laughs> now, oh no, now in just a few minutes, we will be politely asked to leave. 
and less politely asked not to return to this campus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, take your shenanigans and flee. Over mountain high, valley low, river wide, scurry. <laughs> Pack your bags with memories. Let your hearts and your tear ducts swell. If you hated Williston, fine, get the hell out of here. <laughs> but I implore the rest of you to take the time, sit in front of your mirror, halo of light bulbs, puddle of sweat, and roll like the very first wheel back to your own collage day. Your mosaic of moments that brought you joy, sadness and suffering, smiles, friends. You are my mirror. The bricks are my mirror. The golden lion, the green grass, every tree is a mirror that shows me the days that have curled my fingers and cut my diamond. Find your mirror in the eyes of those around you. Remember the days at Williston that held your hand tightly. The days that welcomed you with the sunrise as who you are and who you always wanted to be. Thanks, everybody.